Any questions to this point? Well, you know, uh, ever since I finished my show, I've been trying to figure out exactly what to do, because it's kind of like when you finish college, you know, and you don't really don't know what you want, because, you know, the show was four years long, just like college, and, you know, it prepared me for absolutely nothing, just like college. <laughs> I went to the unemployment office. I said, they said, what are you looking for? I said, you know, something about a half hour a week. <laughs> well, we'll look around. So I don't know. I don't know. Have you taken Larry Hagman fishing yet? What do you mean by that? <laughs> You hear these weird show business stories, this gerbil thing. Let's discuss that for a minute. It doesn't, I, the, the issue of who does it and who doesn't is not the issue to me. The issue that someone does this somewhere on our planet <laughs> is so bizarre, I can't comprehend it. I mean, I once had a hamster in my shirt pocket. I went, get it out. To make the leap to that other thing is so... And I'll bet you they're so embarrassed, they must have excuses when they go to the hospital. I'll bet they go, this is the last time I sit down at the zoo. I will tell you that right now. Well, I don't know how this could have happened. Why, he was on his little exercise wheel and just flew off just when I was changing my clothes. They should put warning labels on those. Any other questions? <laughs> How old am I? Uh, 40, I just turned 41, actually. And I, I can tell you, having just turned 41, life begins at 20. <laughs> There's a good... 165. Any other questions? Huh? Okay, hold it, pal. What? Sorry. This is turning into one of those CNN... Uh... There's only so much information. My act, by the way, has been cleared by Israeli censors. And that's why I can't do any more jokes about my mom. <laughs> I'd like to have General Schwarzkopf narrate a video of my sex. There's Gary's. Uh... General Schwarzkopf, unbelievable in those uh, in those briefings, wasn't he? And uh, although you couldn't see him half the time because he blended into those maps. <laughs> I thought that was like a floating pointer. I couldn't. Uh, where's that? Was that tied to something? <laughs> I'd like to have him narrate a video of my sex. And there's uh, Gary's uh, penis going into the. Uh, chemical factory and uh, there's the explosion and right there right there there's the luckiest woman in Iraq what did you ask me there I don't know when I'm going to go out on uh, tour again the road's very very difficult quite frankly it's right up there with <laughs> my family uh, <laughs> I can't talk around the road about the road without just breaking down because I'm frightened to fly you have to fly and you know that's what frightens me because the planes are old now and I don't know how you can tell I guess if they smell like your grandmother's house get the fuck out <laughs> but yeah I'm really afraid of flying although they have an air phone now so you can use the air phone <laughs> You can use the air phone. <laughs> I was talking to my mom on the air phone. I'm on the airplane. And you know how you just want to get off the phone sometime, but you forget that you're on the airplane. I said, Mom, I gotta go. Someone's at the door. <laughs> and I swear to God, she knew I was on the airplane, but she forgot. And she went, oh, all right, I'll let you go then.
get a little awkward talking to men about wardrobe. I got to be frank with you. I got a little nervous there, to be honest with you. I was in San Francisco a couple months ago, and I, I said to the cab driver, where's the gay section? He said, oh, that's in this area, right into here. I hope you folks have had a good time. Uh, I would just uh, like to say good night and for one last time go, Shep! Shep! Sheppy! Oh.